Hey up everybody! I'm just about to do a little job for a fellow YouTuber and a fellow meter maid owner and what he's asked me to do is convert this miniature load valve uh, from a quarter by 40 thread on this side to a 5 16 by 32 to accept this 5 16 by 32 union nut for 3 16 pipe so I'm just making this side bigger. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go, I've, I'm taking the valve out the valve body, I'm going to go and set this up in the Myford, machine this thread off, prepare it for a, a 5 16 by 32 thread, and then silver solder it in. Right, so I'm just going to set this up in forge your choke, and as I'm Clamping it, clamping the jaws to the actual valve. I'm just making sure I put some packing underneath so I don't damage the valve. And then, just to give me a guide, I'll put my center up to it and then roughly set it up to the center. Now I've got it somewhere near to running true, I've made this um, adapter with a 40 by, sorry, a quarter by 40 thread in. I can screw that onto that part that I want to machine now, and then I can set it up with clock to get it running true. There's a couple of ways you could approach this. You can either take the whole threaded end off and drill it to accept a new complete insert to the size that you need, then solder it into the body. Or I'm going to just turn the thread off of this one and I'm going to thread it 732 by 40. Then I'm going to make a sleeve with a 732 by 40 bore and a 5 16 by 32 outside. Screw it on and then silver solder it onto this existing one. I've cleaned all the components up now, I've got all the paint off, just used some emery cloth and wire brushes. You must get all that all any residue of paint off and because the silver solder won't flow if it gets contaminated and that includes all the parts that you're not going to actually solder that's been soldered on because the solder will reheat uh, and you don't want it to get contaminated with with paint or grease or whatever and I'm gonna now I've cleaned all the paint off I've got my insert my sleeve ready not my insert I'm gonna screw that on and uh, and solder that on now <clears throat> and before I do that I'm gonna degrease it and I just use brake cleaner I'm going to flux the components now <clears throat> and I'm using Easy Flow flux powder mixed with a little bit of water to make it into a paste. So I'm going to flux all the parts that I'm going to solder and all the parts that may have been soldered before, put some flux round just to protect that joint that you're not actually soldering. But because it's close by, it's going to heat up, obviously. Now 
then I'm just going to clean all the flux off in the areas where I don't want it so the solder don't flow to them areas. Right, I'm ready for putting some heat on it and soldering it now. Ok, it's all soldered up now and I've quenched it in some uh, sulfuric acid just to clean all the flux off. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to pop it back in the lathe and recut this seat where the pipe put olive or nipple tightens onto. Yeah that's it, I've got the seat recut in it now. So it's just a matter of reassembling it. <clears throat> and then this is the union nut that's going to fit onto the new piece. Okay then that's it, job complete. If you've not seen my other videos of me doing my, my steam loco from scratching all my fittings and etc and making miniature lobe valves, take a look at them and if not, I'll catch you on next video, so I'll sign off for now then, bye for now